Big macro theme of the day, of course, is jobs. We had a dismal ADP number out yes. yesterday. We're waiting for the big number out tomorrow. Where are you putting your money, Paul? Yeah, and the other data point out today was the weekly jobless claims. So for those that are not familiar with following this nonsense, once a week in US you get a number which is new filings, people arriving at unemployment offices and filing for unemployment benefits. We know that the United States is one of the most flexible labor markets in the world. There you can fire somebody while they're at lunch. You can fire them by SMS, you can send them an email, you could probably send them a Twitter message, you're gone. Are you being serious? I think so, yeah. Okay. So this is fabulous. <laughs> Employers love this because it means you hire people at will because you know you can fire them at will. So the number has been running at about 300,000 a week. For an economy of that size, for a workforce of that size, that's the kind of stable number. Because of course new people are being hired all the time as well. But this particular number I think was well over the 400,000, mm. so that was a negative. But I think, you know, my um, uh, despicable views on the labor market are that those jobs are gone and they're not coming back. So, you know, we've talked about this before. Americans are very anxious about joblessness there. Yeah. And they use that as an excuse for why we should be negative about the stock market, which is ludicrous because as share owners, we know that it's a good thing if people get fired, right? because then you get higher productivity and you get higher profits. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Who's going to be buying into the stocks or buying <laughs> into the things no, that people the people No, people have got sell. lots of money. People well, have got lots of money, and if they don't have lots of money, they can just do it on the credit well, card. Well, if you have high unemployment, it means that businesses will eventually go down because there's no one to consume those no, products. No, but, you Am know, I when wrong? we talk about high unemployment, we're talking about the number having gone from a historic unemployment number of about 10% in the US. During the boom, yeah. it went down to about 5%. So, now it's back to like yeah. 9 so it yeah, doesn't yeah, sound yeah. like a big can problem I, to I, me. <laughs> can, huh? I, can I give you those initial jobless claims numbers? Yeah. Uh, rising 43,000 to 474,000, upwardly revised. Thank you very much. Uh, from th to 431,000. So that explains and why the market's down so much and today. And they had expected it to drop to 410,000. So yeah well away from the expectations so, of the But I think the non-farm payrolls number, which is the real one that we get every first Friday of every month in the US, is going to be the key one. People are looking for a positive ad of about 195,000 jobs. In recent months, what we've seen is a, a laying off of people from the public mm -hmm. sector in the US because of the winding down of a census or something. But there has been indications of new job hires. I mean, there was this case where McDonald's announced over the weekend that they were going to uh, hire an another 50,000 people. And in fact, apparently they had a million applications. So a million applications for 50,000 jobs at McDonald's. That tells you that, you know, McDonald's is a great employer and everybody wants okay, to work there. Okay, so we're going to have a new little slot within this mad market. And I'd like for you to pick a number um, uh, yes. up to... 383, which is a very special number because those are the amount of stocks that are listed on the JSC All Share. And then I'm going to test Paul Turan to see if he knows the stock. Okay, so I'm going to pick a number, a number between yes. one and three. three Let's go three something in the middle, like yes, 212. Okay, wait, let me find it. <laughs> pick a number, another number. <laughs> okay, so one which is sort of in the hundreds. Uh, no, let's say I'll pick a number, 358. <laughs> Whoa, that's way down 358, the 358. So we're talking yes. low quality now because that lists by market cap. Okay, lay it yes. on me. Okay, Dialogue Group Holdings. Di what? Dialogue. Dialogue Group Holdings. Okay, so this is a company that's in the call center business and also has a little add-on business which is in least cost routing. It's done very poorly since it listed in about 2007. <laughs> Avoid, there are much better stocks in the sector. You could buy one of the largest in the market like MTN or Vodacom. That's no contest. I'm so impressed with you. <laughs> what is the share, the share code? I think it's DLG. It yeah? is in fact DLG, <laughs> yes. Damn. Perfect. But DLG speaking company five news, I mean, this crazy story today about uh, Whitey Besson's 674 million rand net remuneration, I mean, that's raising some eyebrows. But then again, somebody pointed out that when he started in the job, ShopRite had a, a market cap, a fraction of pick and pays, and now it's double. Fantastic. Paul, thank you very much. A quick, a quick one on oil, down 5%. Uh, you know, I mean, that's totally irrelevant. Correction, hey? I mean, Silver, gold, It's oil. all in the mix. I mean, we know what the oil is being used for, and from time to time you'd expect these ups and downs.